Hi, it's me, Kletzo. Want to join me tuning up my Dodge? I got it running. I just got to do some tweaking on the timing. Um, those damned electronic parts just didn't work, so I put it back to the originals. All right, time to start her up. I'm going to do this one the hard way. See now I'm not in the driver's seat. One try. Slant six. Been in there for 17 years. I'm gonna wait for it to warm up so it'll idle smooth for me. And then we just check on the timer. Normally the specs say set it at zero, top dead center. I usually run it between five and ten ahead. Right now, on this meter, my dwell is a little bit high at about 46. It's supposed to be between 40 and 45. I find it runs best just about 45. So I'm going to have to open the distributor and adjust that again. I'm going to let it warm up first. I know, it's not as good as Fuel Hauser, but it's all I got right now. Uh, distributor, I'm gonna loosen that. Can you see down in here? I can't. So that's loose. Yeah, the distributor, right down in there. Now, if you can see, I don't know if you can see over here or not. This could be a tough one. Can you peek down in there? There's a mark on that flywheel, a little scratch. Can you see that? Shining in the light. And there's a, a scale on the left side of the belt. Now when I turn the distributor, that scratch on the wheel is gonna move uphill or downhill. And you can hear the difference in the motor. Now it's going a little bit too slow. And now I'm going just about as fast as I want to set it. Then I'm going to lock it down. At least try. Check it again. Just about 10 degrees ahead. It bounced a little bit. That's because the motor's got 17 years on it. It's not exactly in perfect condition. All right, time to stop the stop the the thing and reset the dwell. Now, come on over here. I got a real high tech way of killing this. You ready? If I get jolted, you get to see it. Ha! Ah. So I'll put that back in so I can make it do what I want it to do. This will be just a few seconds, I hope. Loosen the points just a little bit so that I can move them. 
and I watch the needle see if I can get it just about 45 too high That's pretty close. Now we'll close the distributor back up and see how it sits when we're running. Come on, distributor. Close. One side, two sides. Way down at 40. That means I messed up. So we kill it again. Go tweak it again. And since it's an A van, I can do it like this even in the rain. Because we're all inside. Loosen that up a little bit. Give it a go. Cut that too loose. Too we're too easy. Now it's too tight. about 44 fluctuating. Well, let's see where the timing goes. Because every time you set one, the other one's going to move a little bit. Oh, that came back about 9 or 10 instead of 10 or 11. <laughs> and that's good enough for me for today. So, this is Clutso signing out.